Many people have heard of hydroponics. Still others know what aquaponics are. Today on Farm Week, aeroponics. In Oklahoma, there's a serious greenhouse operation using aeroponics to grow leafy greens year-round. The owners say their method results in faster plant growth and it uses much less water than in-ground production. The resulting quality is excellent. Mark to Market's Paul Yeager explains. The Oklahoma landscape is dominated by oil pumping jacks and cattle. But in one area of Tulsa, a new type of greenhouse has sprung up. Part new business opportunity, part environmentally conscious philosophy, Scissortail Farms has embarked on a growing movement in the Sooner State. So we realized that there was so much produce coming from the Southwest and it was spending you know, time getting trucked or, or flown out to the markets that it eventually ended up in and we wanted to, uh, you know, we'll, we saw an opportunity there to uh, create something that would be closer to the market and at the end of the day be providing a better, fresher product. At the beginning of the decade, Rob Walenta and John Sultan built a business plan for a local greenhouse and their research led them to an innovative method of production called aeroponics. Being able to provide a fresher, healthier product locally um, and year round, you know, when the market's so volatile in the Southwest based off environmental conditions or you know, worker conditions, we, uh, we have you know, a setup where we can produce consistently throughout the year and offer the same price and the same quality in the middle of winter that we can in the summer. The aeroponic process does not require soil. It's similar to hydroponics in that it relies heavily on nutrient-rich water. Scissortail Farms sprays an enriched mist over the exposed roots. But before any of that can happen, the seeds germinate in a mix of woven volcanic material. Then within this substrate, you can see are individual little cubes. And once these grow to their, their height, we simply break these cubes off, and when they go outside, they fit in each one of the slots in the, the larger towers. Once the plants have been moved, timers control the application of nutrient-enriched water designed for that specific plant. Scissortail Farms estimates that the growing process uses one-tenth of the water it would take to grow the same crop on a conventional farm. Each one of these towers has these rings that interlock and in the center they form a channel. So that channel runs all the way through from the top to the bottom. And at the base, in the reservoir of each one is a submersible pump. And that pump sends the water through the channel to the top where it collects and then it, it drips back down over the roots, uh, roots that are suspended within the tower. Although startup costs were steep, the folks at Scissortail Farms were willing to take the gamble believing not in only the business itself, but in the support of a growing movement towards locally sourced foods. Local distributors are embracing that trend as well by delivering goods from Scissortail Farms to hospitals, grocery stores, schools, and numerous restaurants. While demand is somewhat elastic, it's not uncommon for the 37,000 square foot facility to produce 800 to 900 cases of leafy greens each week. I mean, that's what uh, John and Robbie try to do, but you know, they try to gauge the, the supply and demand and we try to do the best we can. But you know, we're still fairly early on, so. Sure. And it's a big place, so we've got lots of room to, to try to make educated guesses. Having only been up and running for nine months, Rob credits the farm's startup success to the friends and family who helped with the initial funding to get the operation off the ground. Uh, you know, we've got 1,368 of these towers, so we've got 62,000 plants growing at any given time just in the production area and then about that many growing in the prop area as well. So having people here who, you know, know all the aspects of the business and are passionate about it, it's a huge you know, relief for us to be able to go focus on some other things and know that everything's getting taken care of here. Tall Grass Prairie Table in downtown Tulsa was one of Scissor Tail Farm's first customers, and the locally sourced restaurant quickly embraced aeroponics. You know, we tasted the product, it was beautiful, and immediately we took it on. Tall Grass Prairie Table is a farm to fork restaurant with a menu that is built with 80 to 90 percent local ingredients. The owners work hand in hand with local farmers to ensure that products they purchase meet the quality they demand 
for their customers. For Chef Donaldson, one of the advantages of the product Scissortail Farms brings to the table is the ability for her to be a part of the growing process. I mean, it's a really great feeling because I, I really get to own my plate. Um, I'm not at the mercy of what may or may not be there. So if I do go to Rob and say, hey, this is the size that I want, this is the blend that I want, he's able to put that together. Um, and, you know, it, it comes directly to us. So I, I do have a little bit more control instead of just saying, um, I'll have three cases of spring mix. It takes significantly less time to grow produce aeroponically. And the method's precise control of the environment enables Scissortail Farms to deliver fresh produce year-round. What's amazing about this is if someone comes to us in October and says, hey, you know, I need 200 heads of a particular type of lettuce uh, by January, I say no problem. And so that's what makes this remarkable is when it's snowing outside, when there's a blizzard outside, it's 72 degrees in here and we're growing heads of lettuce and it's fresh, it's picked that day. And you can't do that anywhere else. For Scissortail Farms and its customers, success comes not only from technological advancements, but by working together to accelerate the move to locally grown foods. The relationship that Rob and I have, um, I give him the opportunity to do what he's doing by um, you know, giving his business money, and he gives me the opportunity to do what I'm doing um, by allowing me to take control of what I'm putting on my plate. And so it's a sustainable relationship between the two of us. Um, it, it helps both of us monetarily, but it also helps us focus on um, a shared vision. For Market to Market, I'm Paul Yeager. You can watch this story again on Scissor Tail Farms on our Farm Week website, farmweek.msucares.com. You can also watch Farm Week stories on our Farm Week USA Facebook page and YouTube. We'll also have a link to the Market to Market site where you can uh, see the original story as well as read the script. We're also available at twitter.com slash farmweek. Scissor Tail Farms has a Facebook site and a website.